The state's investigative report on the shooting of an unarmed black man by a white police officer in Madison should be finished in a couple of weeks. Madison officer Matt Kenny shot and killed 19 year old Tony Robinson in a downtown house after police said Robinson assaulted the officer. The shooting led to large public protests in Madison. Robinson's funeral was yesterday at Madison East High School. Police Chief Mike Koval joins us now from our Madison affiliate, WKOW TV. Chief, thanks very much for being with us. Let me begin by asking you about the, the mood of your community. About a week after this happened, how is the community doing, in, in your view? Well, I think the community is exhausted on many levels, uh, emotionally, certainly. I, I am so grateful that, that the Robinson family took a, a seminal role in urging everyone who was going to be taken to the streets that they urged some responsibility and restraint and that gave I think the entire community pause to reflect and to allow the process to move forward in a way that is far different than what we've seen in a lot of markets and for that I'm very grateful to their family. How are your officers doing chief? Well obviously we're part of the community ourselves we we go to the same malls we eat at the same restaurants our kids go to school together and so we can't really compartmentalize how the officers are feeling separate and distinct from the community. Obviously, officers sign up to protect and serve. And so when there's a loss of life, tragically, uh, we're all affected because in some instances then that trust blends or blurs to all of us who are serving. And so to that extent, we obviously understand that uh, this is our time to show what we're capable of doing in, in mending fences and building bridges. And, and we know we have a long way to go. And creating that trust again. I was going to say, as you move forward, is that your greatest concern, the, the relationship between police, community, that sense of trust that I know you want to have, uh, the, the community uh, have in your police? I think that the relationships that we have are obviously very strained relative to what's happened a week ago. But I also think that those who have been in Madison, those who know the Madison Police Department, will not allow the tragic death of Tony Robinson to define the legacy of many, many, many good works that we do daily with selfless service, or at least that's my hope. I, I know you've been asked about this before, but, I, but I'd like to, to cover this ground again. Uh, as you know, uh, there were some police officers outside your department, not necessarily in your department, who, who wondered about your decision to apologize shortly after this happened, uh, that, that you uh, said you were sorry. And before we knew all of the facts and all the particulars of this. And, and, and I'd like you to, to, to tell people out there again why you did that. Well, I, and I'm, and I, I'm actually grateful that you would ask that question because I want to make it very clear. When I said I'm sorry and that I apologize, I apologize that a family, friends, and community are having to now cope with their world, our world, without one 19-year-old young man who had, was filled with potential and promise. That is what I'm sorry about, that, that, a, that happened on the occasion of my department. That's not to suggest, though, or to infer or to lateral, that I am questioning the actions of the officer involved in this incident. In fact, that has to be best left to those of the authorities, DCI, to understand what was happening in its totality and then render their facts of finding to the district attorney's office. But in no means or method was it ever suggested or inferred on my part that I was apologizing for the officer's actions? That obviously would be completely counterintuitive to a, a leader who was trying to support his people, and I won't go there. Madison Police Chief Mike Koval, we appreciate your time. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you for the opportunity. And I'll be right back with some final thoughts about the violence in Madison and Milwaukee.